fish are today. You know, yesterday we got on some. The smallmouth were kind of, you know, just out and about. The largemouth, the one I caught, was in between rocks. So I found some rocks uh, to fish, and that's where he was sitting. But I don't know. I'm going to throw some crankbaits today. We're going to do the Texas Rig Senko. We're going to do Weightless Senko. We're going to do maybe Trick Worm, and then maybe throw some Bitsy Bug Jigs. And then right now I'm throwing this right here, this beaver style bait. It's like a creature bait. It's like in a very, it's in a, like a green pumpkin and blue. So it's not completely black and blue, like a rage crawl or something, but I think it's gonna do pretty good. All right guys, I just wanted to show you what we have today in the boat. So I got the Roxani, obviously. We just did like a mini review on that. We got the Xfinity spinning rod. We got the Revo. We still have it wrapped up. I don't know if I'll, I might bring that one out soon. We got a crankbait throwing it on the mock. And then we got the Blue Max and we got a jig tied on the Blue Max and we got a trick worm tied onto this American Hero. I think I am going to get the Revo X out and fish this weighted Senko. Nothing else has been really working too much. So I don't know, this might be the trick. And we, I think we just need to go ahead and transition now. Been throwing the crankbait a lot, nothing, no action. All right, that's right beside the tree. I should be able to bring this right down the length of the tree. That's a big one. Guys, this is a good one. He's pulling good. He don't know which side he wants to go to. Guys, this is a freaking tank right here. It's a good smallmouth. He fought better than what he is. Heck yeah, I knew there was one right here. Freaking knew it. Look at that. That is a good smallie. He freaking choked this beaver style bait. All right, guys, let's get this one on the scale. I'm guessing he's probably around two pounds, which, guys, I'll take a freaking two pound smallmouth any freaking day. All right, almost two pounds. Heck yeah. He is just a beautiful fish. Look at this thing. Beautiful. Nice, chunky belly on it. Look at that. Pretty. All right, let's get a good release on this thing. That is a beautiful fish. All right, we got on one. I'll take it. That was a pretty good one. Because anytime you get a small mouth that size, and once again, guys, I'm not on a big lake or something where we have a ton of big fish. I'm out on this small river. And I am super stoked when I get a fish that size. That thing fought like it was a lot bigger than what it was. And guys, pound per pound, a smallmouth fights a lot better than a largemouth. You know, just in my opinion, they do. That thing had the rod bent all the way over. I just flipped it right behind this old down tree. And he was sitting right there waiting on it. See, that right there makes my day. There's a lot of other things that make my day, but that is one of them. I almost thought we had another one right there.
You know, there's a lot of things that can make you happy in life. You know, fishing is one of those things that makes me happy. But guys, you don't have to be into fishing. Maybe you found this channel because you were searching for like dolphins or something and you come across the sun dolphin and you know, you found these words of motivation, words of wisdom, whatever. Guys, just get out there, have a good time, find something you love doing and do it. You know, life is short. Life is super short and you never know when your, your timer is gonna run out of time. You just don't, so you have to make the most of every single day you have. You know, challenge yourself. Do that one thing in life that you've been wanting to do and you've just never, you know, either had the courage to do it, time to do it, money to do it, whatever. Set that as a top priority and just do it. Guys, just set your mind to it and do it. That's all you have to do. Other cards will just fall into place. You know, I usually don't get stressed out about much. You know, very rarely, I'm a very easygoing person, very laid back. And it's just hard for me to get bent out of shape about anything. Oh, Whew. we got hung up, I thought we had one. This current's taking me at the same time I'm reeling in, so sometimes they feel like bites. But guys, just find that one thing, go out there, do it, Step outside your comfort zone. That's another one of those things people don't like to do. You know, anytime you're stepping outside your comfort zone and taking that leap that you haven't wanted to do or maybe you just didn't have the courage to do, you're definitely going to make yourself a way better person. And you're going to grow from it because anytime you challenge yourself, you're definitely growing. It's when people stay stagnant in life. You know, they get complacent, they get comfortable. And anytime that happens, you're not growing as a person. You know, in your professional life, personal life, if you're not challenging yourself to grow every single day, as you're not making yourself a better person. All right, that's enough of that. That's your mentor session, motivation for the day. We're just out here on the dolphin having a good time, but we've only caught one so far. It was a almost two pound smallmouth, and we're looking for that second one. I want one that's bigger than that. So guys, we had a lot of trouble. I'm just gonna tell you. So first of all, my phone died, so I couldn't shoot the rest of the fishing trip. Uh, we ended up cutting it short anyway because I had some issues with my trolling motor and battery, I think, I don't know if the battery died, but what had happened is I was going back upstream and it was really strong current. And you know, like an idiot, I'm like, oh, let's throw out one more line, right? Cause uh, sometimes I'm small mouth, like to be in the current. And I pitched it right behind a tree here. And when I was reeling it back in, you know, the current was messing with the trolling motor, taking me all over the place. And I guess the current took the, the bait and went right under the boat well, it gets hung in the trolling motor, right? So it's spooling this line onto the trolling motor and it's getting all wound in it. So about that time, the trolling motor like bogs down. I can't get up the stream. I break out my emergency paddle. I break out this guy and I'm paddling away, trying to, you know, get back up to the boat ramp and think about it. I'm about a hundred yards from the boat ramp, so. It was pretty embarrassing. There was uh, like three or four people standing there fishing as I'm trying to like paddle my way up. And they're looking at me like I'm an idiot. And I guess I am. But uh, I thought the battery was dying on the boat because I didn't charge it last night. Uh, typically, you know, I can run in three or four days without charging it. So I'm like, man, that's kind of unusual. I don't know why the battery would die. But come to find out, this is what happened. Look at all this. I've been, I've been hacking away at some of it and I still haven't got it off, but with that much line and braid wrapped around, that's why it was slowed down so much. I only thought it took in just a little bit, but it's a ton of braid. <laughs> but guys, we got it back. We, uh, you know, we're charging this up and we're going to, we're just going to continue, 
uh, tomorrow with with the video. So, but we caught that good two pound smallmouth, and we're gonna get back out there tomorrow and definitely get on some more. You know, we were using the Roxani, the Revo. We got the Xfinity spinning. Yeah, we're gonna throw some crankbaits, but dolphin's a mess. Dolphin is a mess. But yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna finish up this video and hopefully we can get on them again. Yesterday we had some issues. You know, the trolling motor, we got the line hung up in the trolling motor. I barely made it back to the boat ramp. It really sucked. I thought the battery was dead. Okay, I didn't know because we made it back after a long battle with the paddle <laughs> and uh, we made it up through the current. But today we're back at it. We're gonna still combine this with our third episode of the Sun Dolphin John Boat Adventure Series. And let's get back at it, guys. We caught one two pound smallmouth yesterday. It was a lot of fun to catch. Hopefully we can get on some more today. So please stay tuned. Does this left hand retrieve? I can't tell you how much easier it is for me to cast repeatedly and flip, pitch, whatever. Since I'm right handed, I just work everything with this hand. But it's kind of, it's one of those things they make more right hand retrieve bait casters than anything else. So that's why I've always had, I've always had right hand retrieves, but not anymore. All I'm doing right now is I got the trolling motor up pretty high. It's still in the water enough to give me a little speed, but I also have it tilted back to where, you know, it's not going to hit the boat. get through this. There we go. That worked out better than expected. Most of the time, guys, you have to get out right there. I think we got one right here. Heck yeah, first one. Just a little rock bass. Actually, this might be a little smally. <laughs> Look at that little dink. <laughs> He's a little fatty though. Guys, there, there's a lot of pressure on this river today. There's a ton of people floating the river, just yelling and everything, having a good time. I mean, I get it, but we ain't catching nothing. I kind of let them pass. I kind of fished a little, 
area off to the side, but yeah, it gets rough. Okay, your words of motivation today are simple. We all have choices that we have to make every single day. Some of those choices are harder than others. You know, sometimes confrontation plays a role in making the decision. That's never fun. Those hard decisions, those hard conversations, are they're never easy to have. But sometimes it's necessary to have them. Okay, so making decisions based on that can be tough, guys. But to make sure that you're making the best decisions possible, maybe you have bad blood with somebody, and your decision to do something is based off of that. You're taking it personal. A lot of times when you take decisions uh, from a personal perspective, it's not always the best. Okay, sometimes, especially if it's a work decision, think about how it's gonna affect your coworkers. You know, if you do something really bad, it could affect your family. So definitely take all those key aspects into consideration before you just act, you know, on instinct or act on your feelings. It's not good to do that. Yeah, you might be wondering why I'm always giving these words of motivation. Well, I think it's kind of cool, and I mentor people for a living. So I'm in I'm active duty Air Force. I'm actually an instructor for my career field. So I'm always mentoring new airmen and new people coming into our career field, into the military. And these people come from all different backgrounds, all types of different walks of life. And they, they definitely need mentoring. You're kind of like, you're kind of like their mom and dad or whoever raised them, you know, when they're away from them. A lot of these are 17, 18 year old kids. So they need advice. They need words of wisdom all the time. And I just, I thrive on give on giving them, you know, words of advice. You know, I definitely had a rocky start in my military career. So passing on things that, you know, is going to make it easier on them, you know, it, I love doing that type of stuff. I'm not one of those people that likes to hold on to information and not pass it on to the new folks coming in. I like to give them that information so they don't make the same mistakes that I did. There we go. Is that a little crappie? I didn't even know crappie was in here. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I didn't even know crappie was in this river. Look at that. Little bitty crappie. <laughs> Ate the Ned rig. All right, bud. Don't mess my bass fishing up. So that is one thing about the Ned rig. You're gonna get a lot of smaller fish but if you're looking to catch fish, you're probably gonna hook up a lot with them. I wish we'd have had that guy on the crappie catch, clean, and cook episode. There we go, we got one. It's a little one. Hey, we'll take something though. It's been a pretty slow day, guys. Oh, just a little one. He's pretty though. Hey, buddy, go live a nice life. Get bigger. Well, at least we got another one. I don't care how big it was. <laughs> at least he could eat it. Those bluegills couldn't. Where you got bluegills pecking on this one? I like your bow. Do you? I like <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, we ended up not catching many more big fish. We only caught that real nice two pounder that first day. And guys, you know, really today we just had some words of motivation. That was about it. If you like these type of videos, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. 
And guys, I'll see you in those next videos.